So it may not feel like it right now, but evidence shows that Las Vegas, the metro here, is the fastest warming city in the entire U.S. This is a new heat map. It was just completed by volunteers working with the RTC to show which areas of the valley are the hottest, like North Las Vegas and East Las Vegas. And tonight, Fox 5 is digging deeper. An expert breaks down the impact of the urban heat island effect. This is a typical black asphalt urban heat island. The parking lot of the Thomas and Mack Center at UNLV, even on a spring day, still shows evidence of radiating heat from the sun. No tree inside, no shade, and this is a typical hot spot in Las Vegas. Dr. Stefan Lehman, a professor of architecture and urbanism at UNLV, has researched how excessive heat impacts the city for decades. There is already 5.8 degree Fahrenheit increase in temperature in Las Vegas over the last 30 years. But the urban heat island is adding easily on top of that another 6 to 10 degree Fahrenheit. Urban heat islands, developed areas like giant parking lots with no greenery, will be significantly hotter than undeveloped land outside of the city. We see the impact of solar radiation getting stored, absorbed, trapped and the city is hotter. Urban heat islands more often impact economically disadvantaged neighborhoods and people who have to be outside, like outdoor workers, people taking the bus, or those who are homeless. Those residents are suffering um, disproportionately more uh, during heat waves and are at risk of overheating, dehydration, and of course heat stroke. They call the urban heat island the silent killer. Professor Lehman says last year, 250 people died of heat-related illnesses in the Las Vegas metro. And with our area now seeing longer and hotter heat waves, without change, it will only get worse. Some scientists even predict that by the end of the century, in 2100, areas of Southern Nevada will become uninhabitable due to the excessive heat. So what can be done to fight the urban heat island effect? So these are three major strategies outlined by the professor. First, building materials, avoiding things like black asphalt that retain heat and opting for reflective materials for things like roofing. Second, how densely structures are built. And third, regenerating greenery or plants, which help bring the temperatures down.